All right, everyone, welcome back for another install video of the great Android TV box. If you've seen my past videos, then you've seen how to install Mob Joe, Pluto TV, Showbox, Crackle, and TTV, and how they operate. So right now, I'm going to do, uh, what we're going to do is Cody, which is a, a famous one. Everybody loves Cody. There's so many different features that you have with Cody, so let's dive right into it. So first, we're going to come to the Play Store. And we're going to go over to uh, Cody. So if you've seen my initial video, you've seen where I uh, initially set up the box. Cody was already installed, pre-installed on the box. I uninstalled it so I can install it now when I do set up Cody so we have the newest, most up-to-date version. So let's hit the install button. Let's click accept. Right, it's installing, we're almost there. All right, it's finished. Let's click open. All right, let's click continue. Let's hit allow. All right, you see it says Cody in version 18.3 Lila version, which is the newest, most brand new, up-to-date version of Cody, which is what I wanted. So we get everything brand spanking new and uh, running smooth. All right, so now it's on. Let's go up to the Cogwheel. Go to system, come to add-ons, hit show notifications, and hit unknown sources, that is important, and hit yes. All right, let's go back. Let's go up here to file manager. Let's go to add source. All right, so we come down, none is highlighted, and that's what we wanted. We're gonna type an address and none. So if I'm moving too fast, when I have everything type in, you can, I'll pause for a second so that you can pause the screen if you're not going as fast as me. I am using an uh, a key, Android keyboard, so I have full typing capabilities so I can move a little faster. If you're using the remote and just using arrows, of course, that's going to take a while longer. So I do recommend when you get one of these Android boxes, um, definitely get the keyboard remote if possible. So we're going to type this address in, HTTP. We're going to do dot and slash slash T I N Y U R L dot com slash no limits whiz. Okay, so I'll leave it right here so you can pause it if you want. We're going to click OK. And we see no limit whiz down here is at the bottom. I'm just going to go over to the beginning and put a dot in front of it so that it pops up on first. OK, so just like that, if you need to, you can pause it. Just click OK. All right, we see no limit whiz here. Let's click into that. And we see the two options, and this is the main one. So if you click on this and nothing is in there, it means you typed something wrong. We want to make sure that we have the plugin there. So it is. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back again. We're going to come down here to where it says add-ons. We're going to click OK. We're going to come here to the open box and click OK. And we're going to click install from zip file. 
and see the no limit whiz that we just typed in is right there on the top we're going to click OK and we're going to come down and click on the plugin and click OK and it's going to start to download and we're going to wait for the, the wizard to pop up there into the top right corner Just give it a while again. We're downloading these things. Everything works as fast as your internet connection. So there it is. The No Limit Wizards 18 popped up. It said add on install. And then we get to this screen, the No Limit Wizard. We don't have to mess with it. Let's just click continue. Okay, and it says the No Limit Wizard screen. We're just going to click build menu. Okay, so here we are, Cody version 18.3 Lila, that's what we installed, and there, there are the different versions, we have the No Limits, this which we entered, so we got the Magic Adult, and the No Limit Magic with no triple X section, so if you have your Adult, you're not worried about kids being around and kids getting to this thing, and so the Adult version, it has triple X movies, if you have kids around, we're going to do, you know, do the No XX section, so the servers, you can choose which one. They all have the same stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. If you're doing this on a Fire Stick, here's the Fire Stick version. You know, it's lighter, so it doesn't take up more space. As you can see what it says, only you have one gigabyte of RAM. So that's what you want to do. Now I'm doing this box for a friend of mine. He has kids. He doesn't want the adult section. So I'm going to do No Limits Magic with no triple X section. I'm just going to click OK. Again, the server doesn't matter. If you click on one server and it doesn't work, just come back and do it again with the uh, with the other server. And this is brand new, so we're gonna do a fresh install. We're gonna click continue. And there it goes, it begins downloading. Again, if you want to fast forward this video, you can fast forward, but if you're going with me, you can stick with me. I'm gonna let it ride through the uh, download. Again, the download speed and time might vary. It goes as fast as I said 200 times already, as fast as your internet speed. So again, if you're using Wi-Fi, it won't, won't, won't be as fast. I'm plugged in through ethernet, so we're getting Pretty good speed, pretty good ETA right now. So if your ETA is like an hour, that means you have really terrible internet. So you might just let it set it and forget it. You know, as I used to say on some show a long time ago, just, just let it go and uh, walk away. But we have like a minute to go, so I'm gonna let it, uh, we'll be quiet and let it finish up.
So as you can see, out of all, if you watch the other videos so far, this is the uh, this one is the most uh, intensive, the most detailed. It takes the longest to load. The other one's pretty much plug and play. Um, as you see, once once we get to Cody and it fully loads, Cody is not just like a plug and play, press and play. Um, you really have to have patience with Cody. It's a good resource. It has as good videos and, and movies, um, but you have to have patience with it. Some people say, they, they hit me and say, oh, my Cody's not working, Cody's not working. I say, you have to wait because every time it comes on, it's going to load something new. So you'll see it, the things that pop up in the bottom side of the screen, saying this is loaded, that is loaded. So you really have to be patient with Cody and let it fully process itself before you start watching uh, movies and TV shows. But again, I'll show you that when we get there. Right, so we're finished, and what we're going to do is let it force close Cody or reload profile. Let's hit force close. All right, so that closed it out. So now let's go back in and see what we got. Let's click open. screen we fully installed the no limits build um, kid friendly version so let's give it a second to uh, load up and begin all right so here we are in the Cody no limits no limits magic build. So let's see all the categories that we have. We have we have more. We have collections, networks, live TV, sports, magic 
dragon. Seven of nine. Third place. Favorites, of course, you can put favorites in here. Here are tools. Uh, this is system settings. Power settings, how to turn it off. Uh, you got a kids section. Here's the movie and music section. And movies and TV shows. And that's why we're here. So, again, with Cody, like I said, it's going to load up every time you turn it on. So, in my experience with it, um, movies and TV shows, they will pop up on top of the screen there. So, we just want to give it a second to load. And once they pop up at the top there, we know we're good to go. So, let's just give that a minute to uh, do so. shortcut menu so like I said when we get to this it's always loading go back and just wait for a second trust me you want to do this every time just wait for the movies or the TV shows or whatever item you're in to pop up on the top of the screen like I said you have to have patience for this So here, we're just waiting. So as you see, it clicked back off. So that just lets me know that it's loading. See, pop up clearing packages. Patience is the key with Cody, patience. You see now weather popped up on the, on the screen right there about TV shows. So let's let us know that it's fully working itself through. Again, you can just stick with me or if you want to fast forward, you can fast forward till we get to the, to the meat part. But You'll, you'll know when I get to the part where I'm saying we should be good to go. Ah, see? 
here we are. Right here and there. Popular movies. It pops up on the screen. So if you get this, you get to this part, and you're in the movies and the TV show category, and the TV shows and movies pops up on popular screen, at that point, you know that Cody is like, is, is loaded completely and that you should be good to go. But again, this thing uses links and uh, to things to different downloads. So it's not necessarily a uh, click and play like the other ones, um, like the other apps I've installed previously, if you've been watching the videos. So let's click on one and see how it goes. So let's just see here. Give it a second to load. Still loading. Now I mean, click on the movie, so now it's going to find uh, sources for us to watch the movie. So now we got three total sources. And of course, the quality is there. The 1080p, that's full HD, 720, that's another lower version of HD. We got standard definition, which is SD. And so far, we have a total of 31 available uh, available links to watch to watch the film. Again, same thing with this as any other apps I saw. It's all copyright infringement, so you do it at your own risk. So here are all of the links for this and the quality. So you just you just click on one and see what happens. As you can see, this one moves slower uh, than the other apps, but again, the key with Cody is patience. Right, and there it is. It said 1080p, but as you can see, this is uh, a camcorder rip. But the movie is there. Let's get out of this. Let's go back. Let's see how do we stop this. Right, there we go. Hit stop. I'm going to exit out. Now we're back to the screen and I see a weather there. So we probably can let's set the weather for the place where you live. Let's put it to your area. So let's see tools, zoom system, sun and power. Let's go to system and see if it's in there. Weather, there it is. I saw it. So system, I saw weather, here it is right here. Click on that. All right, so this is set for Las Vegas. I do not live in Las Vegas. If you do live in Las Vegas, then you don't have to set it. So let's set it for where you live. Let's see what we got. So I clicked the three lines in the top corner. Again, another reason why if you saw the initial video, why I said let's change the uh, these, the screen size, because all of these options at the top corner, like the Thursday, July, the date, the time, the eons, whatever, you wouldn't be able to see it. It would be outside of the screen. So let's go to settings. Weather. Let's go over to settings. And location. Click on location. Enter. Yes. Nope. Oh, there we go. And you can just put it in your nearest town. Um, like I said, I'm programming this box for somebody. So I'm put in where he lives. Who it 
is this? No PMP enabled. Let's just click OK and go back to what we were doing, which is I hit the wrong button. I'm doing this live, so it's like, you know, you don't get a pretty version. You get the real version with me. So that's where we live. That's that's it done. Here we popped up Julian PA. Let's click OK so that it sticks. OK. Let's go back. All right. You see, it changed. Weather it went from Las Vegas. You see up here, Julian PA. And there we go. So that's Cody No Limits in a nutshell. You see, it's fully loaded. So remember when we first did this, we went to the kids, we seen them do everything. None of the movies popped up. So now that you're with kids, you can come down and uh, scroll through all these subcategories. You got Disney, kids, movies, kids, TV. You can search through all of those. We have music. You can search through all the different music uh, choices, sub choices. Movies, we did that. You can still come down here and search through these. So there's a search right there. Movie database. You got collections, HD movies. So box sets, movie stars. You can search all these different ways, but you know you're good to go once you have it at the top. Same thing with TV shows. The TV shows are there. They load it up at the top. As you can see, you can come down to the bottom and come into the subcategory and uh, search more details that way. So this is, uh, if you want a Cody, this is a good, it's new, it's up to date. As you can see, it works. You want sports, they have a lot of sports category. I've never used it, but feel free to give it a try. MLB, NBA, NFL, um, you know, everything you need, everything you want to do with the Android TV box, you can do it, um, you know, video-wise with the Cody app. And you go, you got her face, so, you know, her movies, a woman's touch, her TV, cooking, you know, all the things women like. If you mark any favorites, they will be here. Uh, any tools you need here. Uh, system information, we did that because we did change the weather and power. So I'm just going to quit and save. So I'll save it so the date, uh, um, the weather won't change. So quit and save so that it will shut down and then when we get back to the home screen I will add this onto the shortcut all right we're back I'm going to exit back I'm going to exit back again exit back again now we're at the home screen I'm going to come down to the plus sign so where's Cody? There's Cody there. I'm going to check it. Okay. Hit escape. And now it's on the bar with the rest of the apps that I have installed so far. Of course, we got Mildrill, Pluto TV, Showbox, Sony Crackle, and TTV. Of course, there's videos for how to uninstall and how to work each one of these. So you could just click on all of those. Uh, and then you want to see there's more videos to come. So just make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit a like, give me some comments, uh, anything else you want me to install or you want to see, just let me know. Thanks for watching.